the next thing that as leadership we need to make sure that we allow our, our kids and our young people to see Jesus as being attractive you know young people have this deception and the enemy has put a lie within them that Jesus is a huge god that has a huge stick and he is always there to judge them to condemn them he's always there to remind them about how they are not worthy enough to get into their presence because the devil is telling these young people these kind of things and uh, we spend a sunday morning telling them about jesus love we spend uh, our youth days telling them about jesus loves but the rest of the time the devil is pounding them with how they are unworthy to get into the presence of god and so they turn to other ways of finding love other means of finding love and other addictions of finding love where they feel that just temporarily the problems are gone and it's serious times where we as a church and leadership must allow Jesus to become attractive to our young people's lives to let them know that irrespective of what they've done even for a day even for the month for the week that God is arms are ever ready to accept them unconditionally and to work with them and to most especially not remind them about how unworthy they are but God's love is merciful and young people need to understand this and they need to be taught that at any time anything goes wrong they have firstly Jesus to turn to secondly their parents their pastors they is help out there because we see nowadays in the youth i mean in the news um articles almost every week a young person is giving their lives to suicide to um uh negative um influences and so we don't want to wait for last minute in order to influence the lives of our young people